guys. So I'm filming in a different room today. I'm filming in my bedroom. Um, I had some issues with some lighting in the rat slash office. We have a burnt out light bulb and it's very dark and you can't see anything except this funky glow on my face from my computer screen. And it's not attractive and I'd rather not deal with it. So this video is unboxing my newest purchase for my rats. And this is coming from Ty's Rat Shack. And it is a, um, it's a Facebook-based um, hammocks and all kinds of goodies for the rat's cages. Um, they do have a website. It's www.tiesratshack.webs.com. I'll put the link in the description so you can visit. And uh, I'm going to show you what I had purchased with my own money and what I received to review. Because you know I like to do those reviews. I like to show off stuff for you guys. So, my purchase, I ordered two small um, standard hammocks. And they come in different sizes. I ordered small because um, I liked the, the size that they were coming in. I didn't really need a huge one. Um, because I'm almost looking to give the rats their individual beds, especially my boys, because um, Pip is very dominant and he likes to be kind of a bully to the other boys. Girls, not so much, but um, I've got so much um, cage accessories coming in for them that I didn't really need big stuff in there. I needed something smaller, a little individual for whoever wants to go off on their own. So, this I bought for the boys. This is the, um, I believe the pattern is called science is fun or science or something crazy like that and um i saw this and i love this material i actually bought four yards of this fabric um because i want to cover my office chair in you know in the rat room with this fabric and maybe make like a throw pillow or something so if i ever get a futon or a small couch in there if i have room i don't think i do but it would all be matchy matchy and cute. So that's this one. And the coordinating fabric is a fleece in my favorite color, as you can see from my room. Um, is that aqua blue. That's like my my trademark, my signature color, whatever you want to call it. And I do realize a couple of people had commented on this fabric that they said it it is animal testing because it's got the rats and the test tubes and the sciency stuff and I guess in a way that might be true so in no way am I promoting animal testing with this um, I just thought it was cute because I like frogs and I like rats of course um, and I like skeletons you know skulls this kinda had a little bit of everything plus the colors uh, that I'm doing the rat room in so that is, oh, Science is Awesome. I have it on a piece of paper. Science is Awesome is the name of that particular fabric if you're looking to get that with a turqu turquoise aqua blue liner. Um, the other one that I had purchased was another uh, small standard hammock, and this one is in aqua dots. And these are all the colors of my rat room, so I chose this one and be uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. and also because the background is the aqua color again my color and this has a coordinating pink so obviously this is going to go into the girls cage not that I don't think the boys would mind pink but you know whatever so that's them and you see how big they are when they're ha hanging you know depending if you're gonna put the hangers close together you can almost make a little space or you know you can spray you know spread out the hangers once it's hanging in the cage and make it more of a flat surface so those are the two that I had purchased the other ones I'm going to show you are the ones that I'm receiving as a review and I will have reviews on those once I get them up in um, in the cage but I got uh, a couple things ahead of this order set um, that I have to try out and review and, and record first but I will get to these so this is uh, an original design by Ty's um, Rat Shack. Let me get the little piece of fuzz off of it. <laughs> and this is the Cuddle Square. And this is the Zombies in Pink. How cute is that material? Zombies! Who doesn't like zombies? 
Who doesn't like skulls, you know? Very, very, very cute. And it's got a green interior. This is just the coolest design. And I was actually, when I was ordering my own little hammocks, I was eyeing this design, this cuddle square, because it just looked like something my rats would definitely get a kick out of. It's open. I don't have to worry about them chewing it so much. At least I hope not. Um, look at it. It's like a little tray. It's like a little cup. A little a little tray of rats. Um, so it's super adorable and I can't wait to see how they like it. And then the other thing I got is called the Easy Breezy. This is another um, for review item. And the girl that makes this, she's just so, so awesome because I had commented on this fabric saying how cute it was and like, oh, I'm going to have to give me some of that basically is what I said. And same thing with this material. And she put the items I was going to review in the fabrics that I liked. So that was kind of a little added bonus plus plus for me. Um, so yeah, this is the Easy Breezy. And it kind of... Um, it's a very good size. I mean, you can see how big it is. You see it? Okay. And um, it hangs up here at the top. So it goes like, kind of like that. So you can see there's some good openings. Um, then there's an opening at the top. Uh, I don't know if the rats are really going to be able to lay on the top part of it because of the hole that's in the top. Um... But I don't think that's the point. I think the point is to be inside the hammock itself, and this just keeps them from chewing additional holes, is what I'm thinking. So, and this is in Doodle Hearts is the fabric. Again, all the bright colors that I like for the rat room. And it has that aqua blue uh, liner inside of it, which I really like. So, um, first off, just looking at it, Looks like to be awesome quality. I don't see any loose threads anywhere. Um, sometimes when you get hammocks, at least from store-bought ones, like from Petco or whatever, I always notice like little stray threads. And I always wonder if that's supposed to be that way and if that is detrimental to the design at all. I don't know. Um, but this one, I mean, it had a little piece of fuzz on it, but that was it. It didn't have any loose threads. Everything's, you know... Holds up pretty good. The stitching's all really, you know, good. The fabric is nice and soft. I like the fabric. This one almost has like a, um, a, not a canvas. I don't really know my fabrics. I'm not really into clothes and stuff to be like, oh, I know what kind of fabric that is. Um, it's a little bit coarser. And this, I can tell, is like a fleece. But everything looks really good. I will note that, um... In some of my reviews, I've always shown how you can hang hammocks using the plastic shower curtain rings. And um, even Ty, um, the, the girl that works through Ty's rash, like, I don't know if her name is Ty. I would think her name is Ty, but you never know. Maybe that's her rat. Yuna? Yona? Anyways, um, she had said that um, the eyelets that she had put in these are rather small so you'll want to look for the metal shower curtain rings you know the kind that you see all kinds of hammocks being hung up with to use those which is fine um because i have some of those she sells some of those so if you need them you can get them they're fairly cheap so yeah that is what i got and also with the orders i will show you these because they're really really cute um, and I've noticed anytime she's made an order for somebody and she posts the picture of the order, there's always little, little tiny pillows to go with it. So here there's just one that's got little circles on it. And this one looks like it might have been a little stegosaurus or dinosaur pattern. So the, the boys are going to get these. So we're going to give them little pillows. So those are really cute and something, a little added bonus that, you know, goes with it. You could probably even, if you're order, placing an order, if you want to have a coordinating little pillow to go for their beds, you could always, I'm sure you could ask and she'd be happy to help you because she is very helpful. So that's it. That is um, the Ty's Rat Shack un uh, unboxing. Um, I Like I said, I have a couple more um, hammocky type things to review for another company. And as soon as 
I'm switching out the cage and cleaning it for the next go round. I will go ahead and do a review on these. But first, you know, first glance, you know, first impressions. I like them. I think they're very, very cute. Awesome fabric selections. Let me just tell you, it took me three days, no joke, to pick out the materials that I wanted for the two that I was getting. I was kind of leaving the reviews up to her. Um, but I kept going through and it took me three days to decide on what I want. I know I wanted this one, but this one I was just like, I like this one and I like that one and I like this one. So finally I decided. So lots of customization, lots of options. Um, that was probably the hardest part of the whole process. Everything else was easy breezy, you know, got it, you know, <laughs> easy breezy. It was um, easy to order, awesome turnaround time. Good, good company to go with, I, I recommend. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all later. Bye.